The plan is in place. Now we wait. Yeah, I'm ready. I think the spot gives us the best advantage possible. Yeah, I think this spot is a little tough because we are still close to Viking territory. But this is the best spot to defend when prioritizing duration. 600 is not allowed to defend this whole mountain. So what's our plan B because the Vikings are going to overrun us? In this case, plan B isn't really an option. This mountain is a rough environment benefiting small teams and guerrilla tactics. We are here. We'll identify with the letter O for officers. We're centered on the lake front here. Three units, A, B, and C here in the mountains. We are prepared if they attack this backside of the mountain. This will be the hardest push, but they have a chance if they send a numerous amount of people. Rough terrain for them. But we have all three units in position to defend us in the back, and we'll support. Now, we want them here, from the waterfront. This is an amphibious assault, and virtually impossible for them, since they're ill-equipped. We'll have to hold them off until our reinforcements arrive, but this gives us the best possible defense against an enemy like this. I can see how this looks bleak. Everybody has to play their part, and be ready. Any slackers could leave room for flanks, of a unit being overwhelmed. Yes, we have to hold this front. Standard operating procedure is that they must fully fortify to level 4 before they can dispatch any resources to support. So, we're looking at a minimum of a day. If they are moving and on point, yes, a full day to get defenses set. As for reinforcements, I doubt it'll be that fast. So probably about two to three days before they even reach us. You know, we can't hold out for that long. Especially this weather. They have the advantage. Correct. But no matter the force, attacking uphill will always be put at a disadvantage. That is why this will typically be a temporary defense. I see. This position forces the enemy to push north through the icy waters. The current will lead them onto the docks right here forcing the enemy to fight with their backs against the current. Fighting with the water against your back is risky because it allows for reinforcements to struggle to get to you, and then it also slows them down. The casualty risk for reinforcements to come to the exact same spot as the initial force is vast. Precisely. If we can hold our ground here, this could be it for them. The only thing is, we are short man. We make up for it in skill but I believe this will be a very tough one. We won't have much time to prepare for it, so this will be very close. That dock isn't too big. I don't think they can send too many. It will have a terrible flow into the assault. What they aren't accounting for is the mountain peak, but they would take so long and need so much logistical support that I don't believe it's capable. We sit here 24 hours. After that, we have to assume they're on the mountains forcing the water behind us. Good thinking. I didn't realize he can go that deep into planning. Unfortunately, I have learned from my mistakes in the past. The hard way. All of those times I have lost, unfortunately, has made me the leader I am today. In a way, I'm grateful. But I used this experience and carried that weight to never make the same mistake twice. You ever think this fighting, this war, I should say, will end? Like, honestly... This is a world war. I see minor success. I can't see from every angle, but at what point do we stop? I hear you. I want this to stop, too. I have lost everything in this war. Everything. Sometimes, I wonder, will this even be worth it? Will this really change for the greater good? Look, man, I've been through a lot. We all have. And I've noticed... The youth has been affected. Kids aren't kids anymore. They're dying before they even make it. People don't even know who to believe. We have cults all over, and they're kidnapping people. Regular citizens. People don't even trust the war council. The people have already dropped in support of us. At this point, what else is there? How much longer? This war is literally destroying us. I have heard the rumors as well. This war is affecting us. Although things 
hurt us the most going through this. We have to stand. We cannot fail. For we are the only option. War is ugly. And unfortunately, fighters of our caliber, we can't afford to lose because we have an off day. We must win. Look, man. I just gotta get this off my chest, man. Don't judge me. <sighs> After all this, I have nothing left. I have no family left. I lived in neutral territory before the war. I joined the Knights to make a living and move my parents out of the area. I lived in the hills and... It was hard, man. Crops barely grow because of all the blood and chemicals, powders, and fires, everything from this damn war. I had to be the man of the house. I stepped up, took care of business. I went to visit for my training. Everything was destroyed. There was no bodies or blood. I was only 15. My only motivation right now is that I am finally willing to find my parents. But now, now that I'm older, I'm starting to feel that it may be in vain. That, look, I know you can't promise anyone anything, that anybody will survive. But I just want to say that you are the only thing keeping me going right now. Regardless of what happens, good or bad between us, in any disagreement, I want you to go 100% in anything that you do. These guys, man, they, they look up to you. You are our light. So make sure you shine the brightest. Wow, Leo. Thanks, man. I will. You know, this war, it's getting to everybody, including myself. But I put on this shield over my heart because it's necessary. As a leader, you do not get time to grieve. There are no breaks. After the Vikings raided my hometown, they burned everything. That was the last time that I seen my family. After that, it made me a harder person. I stopped at nothing to get justice. It won't change anything but I knew the hope was lost then. So I became the embodiment of hope. I was given a gift in my blood. And with this gift, I will make the world a better place. That is why I fight so hard in every fight to end this war. Faster this ends, the faster we end the suffering. Continue being that hope, Benjamin. The world needs to be shown that people can be trusted. I plan on it. <laughs> Cry, baby. Wow. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> you know that. Hey, Benji. I got a question. Why do you still call me that? We are not kids anymore. Yeah, I know. Habit, sorry. But I got a question. Do you ever think, like, let me be normal? What do you mean? You always... Mr. I'm a hero guy and woody woo. Like, be normal. I got, I got to save the world. Like, okay, Superman, we got it. Wow. Are you serious? Going to my prediction so far. They're going to play the attrition game try to bleed our numbers. So the best move would be to hold here? Yes, we hold our ground here. Trust they get it. We hold the rear, we make sure any supplies or reinforcements we receive is in the secured area. Also, we watch our flanks. And if a messenger needs to reach us, this will be the spot. Precisely. You're a general in the making, Liam. Hey, uh, that looks like two people standing right there. Actually, that is a person. There's two. Who is that? Because that's definitely not a Viking. They're not. That's a Sim. He is a new vessel of Anubis. He's one of the strongest fighters. Finally caught up to him. Took a few hours, but we're here. It's cold out, let's not play around too much. But make this interesting. His notes made him sound so powerful. 
They don't look anywhere near close enough to our skill. A vessel? Like reincarnation? Yes. This is probably going to be a big fight. He's a skilled warrior. He definitely knows what he's doing. Follow my lead. This could get ugly. Wow, Anubis vessel. This will be hard. What does he have up his sleeve? He's actually not affiliated with any of the four great nations. So we really have no info on him. Other than his Egyptian origin and name. The researchers are usually on point with identifying at least who are the current vessels. But I'm thinking he hasn't fought any knights yet. Okay, so how many vessels are we talking here? Ten? Well, right now, just him. There's a total of six deities. Amatadrasu, god of sun. Tsukiyomi, god of moon. Shingami, god of death. Vortiger, guardian of spirit and morality. Anubis, overseer of death and afterlife. Yormengandr, serpent god. For me, I'm different. I have the blood of a single deity who created everything, including the five I named. Its name is Omni. Wait a minute, so you're God God? Like why am I just now hearing about this? Dude, there's so many questions. Look, it's complicated, but just know I never underestimate any fighter. Our life as well as others depends on our result here right now. So we need to clutch this. I'm gonna die. I'm completely outmatched. These guys are way out of my league. I'm right here with you, man. Don't mentally check out. We got this. Now the question is, where are the Vikings? Who is this other guy, and how is he working with the vessel? Yeah, there's no shot these guys are working with the Vikings, right? I doubt it. Wouldn't make a lot of a sense. So what's the play here, man? I'm thinking we split these guys up. That might be the play here. I'm gonna need some room. Okay. I think I can take the other one. Take them serious. I think they attacked the main body and got to us that fast. Either that, or there's more. Maybe even another vessel. Gotcha. Can my body hold up anymore? Thirty feet away, sixty feet, no, yards, weapons, what's he thinking? How fast is this guy? And the one shot of next, what abilities does he have? We have the same strength, right? He hasn't said anything. Why is he so quiet? Hmm. 
staring contests bore me. What? What's his play? Where is he going? What's he gonna do? You're just gonna stand there and die. You'll make the first move. Divine Art Aftermath. Uh, yeah. Stage one. Is that... Gahiris? I'm so sorry for what happened. I, I wasn't there for you. I understand that you are upset. I wish it was me. It's all my fault. I, sh I should have been home more. I should have visited more. I'm sorry for the things I've said. I should have never said it. I wish I never said it. That was the last time we spoke. I really am sorry, brother. I am a better person because of that. I want to make this right. So Omni is present within you still. Interesting. Well, that's no fun. That was obviously a hallucination, but I physically couldn't resist. Hallucinations, meaning he's probably built to fight using hallucinations, not directly. I think I can take him. I believe it is my turn, don't you think? Can't keep up? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll show you some moves. Oh, dance for me, big boy. Why are you just running? I can end this now. Through the power of Rasul, you will die in exactly 180 seconds. You and your god can kiss my ass. Oh, very naughty. His style and weapon choice is a little unorthodox, but I can keep up with him, however. He wouldn't show everything this early, so I think I should use it now. Divine art. Tempest onslaught. What? He can still use it! Oh, so that is what they mean. Your body truly isn't capable after that fight long ago. That's too bad. Benjamin, I am here. Our connection has weakened. I will take care of this. Astral manifestation. What? I know what's next. I need to end this now. Divine art. <gasps> Death walk! <laughs> that. Not that form. Omni itself started taking control, I'm sure of it. It's nothing personal. No, 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 come on, come on! Benjamin, we are ill-equipped for this fight. This? Benjamin, not I will not the... awake you this time, trust me. Put your full trust in my intention. It's over. Yeah. That's too bad. Things were fun until you got too serious. I had to end you. 
I have a goal, to end this cycle of vessel reincarnation. It's not personal, it must be done. I should have known. I was foolish, trying to find my parents in the midst of a war. My mind, adrift, mind and body should always be as one. Will I see my parents in this afterlife? I can subtly smell everything. I can smell flowers, the moist, dense air after the rain. Bees, buzzing in the wind. I, I can see my friend, Benji. I'm sorry. I can't come back to you. I've danced my last dance. My life I am grateful for. <coughs> I have nothing else to live for. I have completed my purpose on this earth. I shall give back to Mother Nature as is given to me. My shining light. Shine on this putrid darkness. Cast away this evil. Save the world from this war. For a new generation. Come here, let us chat for a bit. What's our next move? Now that he's out of the way, we can focus on the big three. Those three are too strong to take on right now without more help. I have someone we can use. Lovely. Who do you have in mind? It's a secret. Beautiful. The world has no idea what is to come. Your time hasn't come yet. Wake up, Benjamin. <laughs>